Hello guys from Farrico Town. Today I'm going to talk about the match between Andy Murray and Fabio Fonini in the first round uh, in Rome. I mean, uh, the Italian uh, Fabio Fonini earns his biggest win of the season by defeating uh, the Scott Andy Murray 6-4, 4-6, 6-4. Well, the former uh, top 10 showed really a great display, great display of tennis. He has play, he played uh, so well, amazing match from him and uh, always in the big occasions, he always plays well. It's true that this season he has struggled uh, a lot with a 2-8 to uh, tour level record, not so well the start of the season. But I think this is uh, will be huge in terms of his confidence um, when he will play in the second round against Miromir Ketsmanovic, which will take place uh, tomorrow. This was their first, uh, uh, well, this was their uh, ninth meeting between Andy Murray and uh, Fabio Fonini. The last time they faced it was in Shanghai 2019. In that occasion, Fonini won in the final uh, set tiebreaker. But uh, yeah, uh, Fonini played a solid match. It was... Uh, a long time ago since we we seen this version of Fabio Fonini. Let's not forget that uh, he is in the descendant part of his career. He's almost at the end. He's already 35 years old. And uh, now he owns a 5-4 uh, record against Andy Murray in their head-to-heads. And I don't know why, but every time he plays Andy Murray, he always shows that he can defeat the... The former top guys, uh, I mean, Fonini, as we all know, he has great talent. He can play very well. I think uh, if he's really focused, he's really uh, there and uh, playing his best tennis, I think he can beat anyone on his best day. It's just he needs to believe more, have more self-confidence in him. It's true that he was world number uh, seven. He has won a, one, a Masters 1000 in his career in Monte Carlo. But I think he could have done uh, way more. And that this match is to prove that he can do a lot more. But uh, sometimes talent is not sufficient enough to go that step further. But uh, this is a gr good win for uh, Fabio Fonini. I hope he's going to also win the next round, which will be tough for him because it's it's against a very tricky opponent in Mirmir Ketsmanovic, and I hope he's going to play his best tennis. And uh, yeah, also considering the match he played yesterday against Andy Murray, he was really injured. I think he served, he served pretty well. He, always, he also finished in great style with an ace, and uh, let's see what he can bring uh, to the table in the next match. Guys! That's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. As always, if you like the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. And see you next time. Bye.